What's up, everybody? Russ Lee here. So originally I was going to make y'all a video today recording on my Sony A7R 3 um, using the settings and stuff that I was uh, following from the review that Cody uh, McCarty just made in his YouTube video. Um, if I can figure out how to link his channel below, I will. I'm very new to this YouTube stuff. Um, anyway, but then I realized I just sold off two of my lenses, so the only lens I currently even have is an 85 G Master. Um, so it's just too tight in the room and scenario, man. So we're gonna get one more iPhone video. Sorry, you guys. Uh, but it's uh, I'm using the front facing camera this time versus the. Or I'm sorry, the. Using the regular camera versus the face forward. Forward. Face forwarding camera. Meaning, you're going to have better quality results. Yeah, this is 4K 30. iPhone, anyway. Anyway, so I was just going to make a video. Um, basically talking about how um, I just sold two of my lenses. I sold a my 7200 f4. And I actually sold my 2470 G Master. Um, you know, it's just one of those things, the 2470 G Master, it was a fantastic lens, but I just didn't use it that much. And the 7200 I used quite a bit, but the problem is right now I'm more into my wildlife photography than anything. And I mean, if you want to call it wildlife, it's mainly birds. I got some alligators the other day too. I posted a video, just a real, real 30 second clip of it swimming around, but Anyway, so I'm more into my wildlife right now. So therefore, what I need to, I needed more reach. So um, I got rid of a couple of lenses. Like I said, the ones I just stated before. And I ordered the Sony 100 to 400 G Master. Uh, that should be here in the next couple of days. And then I also am picking up the Zeiss 35 2.8. Um, that one I'll, I'll use for my videos for right now when I get it. Um, and also it's, I bought it primarily for, you know, full body portraits. And the main reason I bought it is for street photography, to be honest. It's very compact. It's almost like a pancake lens, but it's not. Um, it's going to be very discreet and small on the A7R3 um, versus, you know, something like this big old 85 right here. So also 35 is your typical, you know, more common street photography lens anyway, focal length. So it's going to force me to get a little bit closer. Um, I'm still, just like I'm getting used to this YouTube, uh, YouTube video thing, I'm also building up confidence towards street photography. I just got into it. So I'm really trying to get a little bit more gutsy, I guess. So it'll help me. It, it, I think it's going to force me to be a little more creative uh, and get a little closer and stuff like that. So... Anyway, so now that's the, the news right now. Uh, I got 35 Zeiss 2.8 coming and uh, Sony 100 to 400 G Master. And um, basically, I just want to do a real short video just updating you guys. Um, I'll be doing an unboxing video of the 100 to 400 when it comes in. And I would be expecting that over the next couple of days.